In this video, I'm going to show you how to run ZS Demo app. As you can see here, I have already installed ZS Demo from Play Store. Once I launch the app, it's going to tell me that ZS, ZS Finder is not installed and will tell me to download from Google Play. Go ahead and click that. It will take me to the Play Store. Um, and now I will go ahead and install ZS Finder. Once it's installed, I'll hit open. I'll give the right permissions. At this point, I will ignore the authentication token required message. And at this point, we'll go back to ZS Demo. And now I'm on the home page of ZS Demo and ready to start using the app. You may already have ZS Finder installed, in which case the app will skip the step to install the ZS Finder. However, Please make sure that you are running the minimum version of ZS Finder version 7.3.0. So go ahead and update your ZS Finder from Play Store to make sure you have the latest. Now I'm going to show you how to use ZS Demo app to showcase the capabilities of Zebra's ZS300 electronic temperature sensors. To start, scan sensor. Bring your sensor in front of the camera and scan the QR code. Once the serial number of the sensor has been scanned, hit continue. This is a new sensor. We first need to enroll it. Make sure your sensor is within range of your mobile device. And also wake it up by pressing its button for three seconds before continuing. Once the sensor is successfully enrolled, we can now create a task on the sensor. In the Create Task screen, you can set up the reading interval, set it to 30 seconds. Let's keep the start mode to start logging immediately. Alarm settings, you have to set at least one alarm to be able to create a task. Let's set up a low limit alarm to 15, 15 degrees Celsius and hit continue. Let's review the task configuration to make sure that this is configured to what you set it to be. Then hit create. At this point, task is successfully created and should be running on the sensor. If it's gone idle, please wake it up for 30 sec for by pressing the button for three seconds. Hit continue. And now I should be brought into the task details page where the task status is now showing active, the task start time, and the number of sensor is one and the task status is active. Going to the info screen, you can take a look at the task configuration. The sensors page shows you the details about the sensor information, such as the sensor serial number, MAC address, battery level, firmware version, etc. If you go to the events tab, this will show the, the data recorded by the sensor and as it uploads the data to the cloud. Right now, there is no direct data because we just started the task. The events tab shows a bunch of sensor readings that the sensor has collected along with timestamps. You also see there is an alarm that has happened on the sensor due to a temperature excursion 
based on the temperature low limit alarm that we had set on the task with a timestamp when it happened. By going to the task overview, the task status now shows if this task is active with alarm. We also see the alarm. There's one alarm on the sensor. If we click that, it will show the specifics of the alarm. It shows it's a low li limit alarm, the time it happened, and the temperature when it happened. In the events tab, we can download all the sensor readings along with the alarms into a CSV file. Click download CSV, choose your location on the Android device. In this case, I'm gonna select the top directory and select, shows file successfully downloaded. At this time, you can plug the Android device to your PC and extract the CSV file for later analysis. Once you're done with the task, you can stop the task. Go ahead and click the circle at the top. Click stop task. Let's make sure the sensor is within range of the mobile device. Click OK. And now we get the message the task was successfully stopped with the task status changed to completed with the task end time and the task start time. This concludes the demo of ZS300 using the ZS demo app.